So YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone, and you've heard it on more than one occasion, and that is that adjustable sights are so much better than fixed sights because you can adjust them to any load, zero any load with the adjustable sights, and the adjustable sights are much nicer to use, a much better sight picture, squarer sight picture, more accurate sight picture. So why would anyone want to buy a revolver or automatic pistol that has fixed sights? Well, we've heard the reasons. Fixed sights are much more rugged. They don't get knocked out of alignment. Well, fact of the matter is, for all these years I've been shooting adjustable sights and I don't really see them get knocked out of alignment very often. But then again, I don't go rolling around in the dirt. I don't go falling off horses. This kind of thing. So really, are fixed sights really that much worse than adjustable sights? This here is a Beretta Stampede in 45 Colt caliber. And it has fixed sights. I also have fixed sights on my Vaquero Ruger revolvers. So today let's go to the range and find out with our Breda Stampede and our Ruger Vaquero and find out if fixed sights are any good at all. So there's the Breda Stampede on the left and on the right is the Ruger Vaquero stainless steel 4 and 5 8 inch model and both are in 45 Colt caliber. Let's shoot. So first we'll shoot five rounds from a rest with a Beretta Stampede. I was telling Steve, I went to my 45 and I've been shooting all the way through it. And finally, you know, I clean it a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. I can clean it a little bit. Look at it. And that put three shots in the same hole. Wait a second. And a couple of them a little bit out so that the total group is about two inches. Dig a spot out. So the Ruger Vaquero, four and five eighth inch barrel. At the same 12 and a half yard range and the same rest. In the red dots go. So it leaves me seven seconds and it always takes me like a. So then I had to shoot kind of fast. And basically, there's no point. I'm not really aiming. Not with my weekend. Weekend is too hard. That one felt okay. Like that one didn't feel as bad. The first one's three minutes. Like three minutes for how many? Three minutes for five shots. Three minutes for five shots. That's easy. Even one hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Jesus. And I think that's throw you off. Yeah. My guess is that I've done that way to throw you off. Well, because you go slow shooting the five shots. Set the gun down. Take walk around and actually there is one. Oh no. Now that one shot three shots in one hole and then two shots pretty close together about an inch and a half away from the three. So I would rate the both guns to be equally accurate from a rest at 12 and a half yards. Dang. You know, he's just too good. 
Yeah, I know. With, with much harder fire. <laughs> he does practice with playing cards. You know, the five shot group from the Beretta Stampede at uh, 12 and a half yards. And here's a group from the Ruger Vaquero five shots yeah, yeah, yeah. at 12 and a half yards. Yeah. They're about the same. So if you're thinking about one gun over the other, bear in mind the Beretta has the best trigger, the best factory trigger there is to be found on single action pistols. And the Ruger has ruggedness and able to shoot magnum loads so you gotta take your poison or take your pick great uh, choice to make between the two or own them both just when you think that a light trigger is the only way to go then the ruger jumps up and shoots a group like this offhand at 12 and a half yards and you say wow that trigger even though it's heavier and not quite as crisp if we do our job and trip that thing okay we can get a good performance Three rounds to go home on. There's one. There's two. And there's three. So YouTubers, this shooting is not exceptional. All of you out there could shoot in like manner. A little bit of practice and some ammo. Some technique and fundamentals. But the point of this video is that... The fixed-sighted revolvers and auto pistols can shoot very nicely so that we don't have to shun the ownership of them and in fact embrace them after a hundred rounds of those lead bullets. We were shooting 200 grain semi-wide cutters with 8.5 grains of unique. So look at that. Those chamber throats are nice and clean as is the front of the cylinder. And you'll notice how clean the forcing cone area is. Just a hair of lead left in there, but not enough to be even significant. And as for the barrel, clean as a whistle. And the same goes for the Beretta. Look at those chamber throats, those cylinder throats. Absolutely spotless. Once again, you notice there's a little bit of lead in there, but not enough to be significant at all. And the barrel is nice and clear. So YouTubers, if you're in the market for a fixed sighted gun, then fear not because they'll shoot just as well as we need them to. Bye for now.